Welcome back. I've got another video for you guys. This one is different than things that I normally do, but recently I'm in North Carolina. Recently we had a storm kind of come through. It ended up really kind of just missing us, but it could have been a hurricane. We are in the kind of hurricane belt, I guess, down here, and it is hurricane season right now. It is the end of August here in 2024, and I've got one of these. This is called the Jackery Explorer 240, and it's a, it's a big battery bank. Uh, you guys have probably seen these before. Uh, this is where you power it up either through a wall charger or through a solar panel. Uh, this is for USB devices. This is your regular 110 plug, and this is a 12-volt plug. And you can plug in all kinds of stuff on these. It's got um, 200, and this particular one has 240 uh, watt-hours on it. So what does it all mean and what can you actually do with one of these things if the power goes out? So we're going to delve into that a little bit by going around my house and I'm going to show you um, some of the things that possibly I could use it for in a power outage. So the first thing that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to do this through a slideshow because I used it to see if I could power my whole computer setup here to make videos. And obviously I can't I, I couldn't do it and run it all at the same time and film myself. So I did I did it and I took some photos and I'm going to show you those now and we're going to walk through it. So let's take a look at what the computer setup is that I have right in front of me really quick. So this is what I'm running off the Jackery. You can see the Jackery in the corner over there. Now it's a lot of little plugs. So I used an extension cord, a power strip, plugged everything in there. And you can see the power strip plugged into the Jackery over there on the right. What are we running? We're running a 27-inch iMac, a webcam, two LED lights. It's a small ring light and then a bigger floodlight. I've got a small mixing board for my sound and a Shure SM58 microphone that I use to record me. Uh, we've got a wireless keyboard and mouse, and that's pretty much the whole setup. So I plugged it in the Jackery, and will it run at all? Well, in fact, yes, it will run everything, and here are some of the specs on it. With everything plugged into the power strip and the power strip plugged into the Jackery, now, it's just plugged in. Everything is still turned off. It draws 13 watts of power, just ambient power. Nothing's, nothing's actually switched on yet. So now when I start to switch things on, I switch the whole setup on, so everything is powered. The mixing board, the microphone, the two lights, the computer, uh, the mouse and the keyboard, of course, are running. They're wireless. Uh, the webcam on the top, and it draws 100 and, well, it was about to change to 125 watts of power. Now, remember, the Jackery Explorer 240 is 240 watts, so it could run this whole setup for me to make a video. It would run for how much? Just under two hours. But I could do a video if I needed to on a pinch if I was really bored. And then I could take the Jackery and uh, recharge it and possibly make another video. But it will run this whole setup. Now, I did a couple little different things here. If you look at this one, this one is everything running, but I turned the lights off. So let's say I just had some good light from Windows and I didn't need that. Well, it brings it down to 72 watt hours, so I could run the system a little bit longer. But another piece to the pie is, well, what about Wi-Fi? Now, I can sit here offline and make a video, no problem. But can I power this setup via Wi-Fi? I went into my office space, which I'm kicked out of right now, as you can see by my, my doggies in the background. Um, and I plugged in my Wi-Fi router and modem, and there you go. So it pulls about 27 watts. Again, if you divide that into 240, you will be able to figure out about how many hours you could run the Wi-Fi in the house. So now we're about to go through a list of things that we're going to try around the house, pretending the power is out, and see what this Jackery 240 is going to run. Now, obviously, there are some things I'm not going to show you because you know in a million other videos that they run. Wireless headphones. You can charge these a whole bunch of times off of a Jackery. A smaller battery bank in and of itself. This one happens to be solar. So you can plug it in and charge it through the Jackery, or you can put it outside and recharge it. This one has two lights on it, and you can power your phone and other devices off it. So you can absolutely charge those a whole bunch of times. 
This is just another type of battery bank, no solar involved. Uh, whoop, but uh, wow, the lighting's not so good. There, there you can kind of see that. Uh, but you can charge things off of that too. So you can run all of those things on there. Small devices like the Kindle. You could charge the Kindle, which is just a, uh, a USB-C power cord, over and over again. That'll work no problem. Can I get this open? This is my, oh my lord, I got to turn around backwards, my iPad Pro. Can I recharge my iPad Pro off of the Jackery? Yes, a whole bunch of times. You can even run a small laptop, well, or a big laptop off it too. So you saw that we just ran the whole computer system and it'll do that for just under two hours with the lights on, a little over two hours with the lights off. So yes, you can run a laptop. I'm not gonna go through all those. We know those work. All right, I'm about to get out of my seat. We're gonna switch over to the cell phone and we're gonna go check out quite a few things that we can see if we can power up. But really quick, I wanted to show you something cool. Here's that small battery backup again that you get from like a Walmart for 10 bucks. This is a LED USB nightlight, I guess you would call it. I got this a pack of 10 off AliExpress for like $2. If you plug these into any battery backup, let me turn that on, you've got an instant nightlight or low powered flashlight. This will literally run off one of these for days, days. So check that out, AliExpress, these things are awesome. You can plug them in all over the place. All right, first up, I know it's a little windy because we're gonna do two fans that I got at Walmart. So let's switch the camera around and let's take a look. I got a small one and a slightly bigger one because we all wanna be cool when the power goes out. This one's a little loud, but it's a small um, desk powered fan that you could clip onto your bed frame if you had one, if you had a headboard. Uh, it actually, it blows pretty good. It's on the high mode right now. And as it's plugged in, it is drawing five watts of power. Let's switch over to the bigger fan. This fan is another Walmart purchase. It's called the Vornado. You can see it's slightly bigger. There's my hand for a little size comparison. This one is not USB. This one has a regular 110 outlet. As you can see, it's plugged in, but not on. And it, it pulls a little bit of ambient power. Most things do, but let's turn it on and see what happens. All right, that, believe it or not, is the high mode. Okay, let's see what we're pulling. Pulling about 40 watts, 34 between 34 and 40 watts. Let's turn it down. There's the medium setting. Twenty one watts and the low setting. The low setting at 19. Well, still to 24 watts. Let's go try something else. All right, here's a big one for some people. Will it run your CPAP machine? Let's power it on and see what happens. All right, it's powering the CPAP machine on. So let's turn it on and see what kind of power it draws. It is drawing about 50 watts of power. Oh, it just bumped up to 70. 76, 75, 85. So you could run it for a few hours. Will it run my Google Home? Hey Google, play thunderstorm sounds. And the Google Home is pulling about. Seems four to five watts. Will the Jackery Explorer 240 run my 65 inch TV? I have it plugged in, it is not yet turned on, and it's already drawing 14 to 20 watts of ambient power. Let's see what happens.
Well, at 112 watts, it'll run a two-hour movie, but perhaps you want to try just an hour and a half flick. Will the Jackery Explorer 240 run my under-the-counter microwave? Let's check it out. Well, I got some power. Our ambient draw is three or four watts. Let's see what happens. Let's open it up. Let's do an add 30 seconds. And no. It went up to 107 watts and then shut off. So we can try it again, perhaps. Nope, it will not run a microwave. And I also know from many other videos that it will not run a coffee machine. And it will not run an air fryer. And it will not run my stove. And it will not run my toaster oven. Pretty much anything that is a heating device with a big heating element, it will not run. Will it run the refrigerator I have in the garage? You can see it is currently powered off. I have it plugged in to the Jackery Explorer 240. And let's see what happens. That is a low draw of four watts it's showing. The light is on. So it is at least powering that. All right, the wattage went up to 42, 45, but the compressor is still not running, so it may go up even higher. And a moment ago, it just shut off. It went up to 68 watts. You can see the power has turned off, and it will not run this small refrigerator, so I'm definitely not going to try the bigger one that I have in my kitchen. So what are my overall thoughts on the Jackery Explorer 240? Well, I actually like it. Listen, it's not meant to run all of these big ticket items. As a matter of fact, the big generator I have that I use in a power outage, which is a gas power generator that you would kind of run extension cords off or hook up to your house, only runs certain things also. The good news with my big generator, I think I mentioned it was about sustaining 52 or 5600 watts. That will run my refrigerators, which is what you really care about in a power outage, not losing all of your food. This Jackery is not meant to do that. It's meant for small items. It's not going to run anything with a heating element. It's not going to keep you cold. It's not going to keep you hot. It will run a fan. It will power all of your electronics off of it. And if you've got a bigger size, they make it in several sizes. This is the 240. I think there's a newer one out that is in a, maybe a 350. There's a 500. I believe there's a 1,000. There's several of them. If you go to Amazon, you can check it out. I'm going to swap over right here uh, so you can see. Uh, there you go. The 240 runs about 219. They sell it on Amazon. If you have a Harbor Freight in your town, they also sell the Jackery 240 right there at Harbor Freight. and You can pick it up, and it's about the same price. Is it worth it? I love it. You go away for a weekend and you just want to make sure that your cell phones and your laptop and your iPad is powered up. You've got a way to repower some of your flashlights or lanterns, things like that. For camping, these things are amazing. If you're somebody who does van life and you're living out of your vehicle, this is amazing. You can charge it a couple ways. You can plug it into an outlet when there is actual power to recharge it. You can get yourself a solar, a solar panel that they make for it and recharge it that way. Now the solar panels aren't cheap. It's going to cost about as much as the Jackery. But if you're getting it for a power outage emergency use kind of device, you probably want to go and pick up at least one solar panel also so you've got a way to power it in case you've got an extended period of time where there's no way to plug it in. Now don't forget you can also charge this via your car. If you've got a newer car that has a 110 
a volt plug in there. You could plug it in and charge it off your car also. So I love them. I wish I could afford to get some of the bigger ones to do more testing. Not in my budget right now. But I don't know what you think, but I hope you enjoyed the video. And if it works out for you, if you're somebody who wants to go away camping for the weekend but needs a CPAP machine, you could upsize to the Jackery 500, and I bet that might even get you through the weekend. So I hope this information helped, and I'll see you soon.